Ladies and gentlemen, if I may, uh, this is uh, GK. Um, Greg Kelly is apparently um, uh, jealous of Glenn Beck, so he decided to get a, uh, a similar logo. But instead of a lightning bolt, which does not apply to... I think that might be a reference to the fact that um, Glenn Beck is on the radio, and radio operators uh, used to be called Sparks, and they had a lightning bolt as their main thing, which is, you know, fuck off, Glenn, that's my territory. But um, uh, that he put chose a star in his little GK thing, right? And wait, is there a... All right, turn that off. There you go. Um, this is... Uh, this. Well, we'll just take it. So... Uh, this is called Greg Kelly. We found the money. Count de Monet. De Monet. Bribery allegation. Congresswoman Nancy May says there's damning evidence in the FBI file that you sold out the country. Do you have a response to congressional Republicans? Where's the money? I'm joking. Mr. President, Mr. President, I tried to a bunch of malarkey. Where's the money, you say, Joe? Yes. Yeah, here. Hey, hey, dipshit. And by the way, this is about this check. We'll 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 cover Comer's take on this. Yes, that's a check from his own brother. <laughs> Doesn't count. The House Oversight Committee found it. A big, 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 big clue. A big, big, big bag. Bada boom. Bada bing bang boom. What was the clue? The loan repayment in the memo line. How about this? How about, Greg, how about the fucking date? Does anybody remember <laughs> who was president in 2018? God damn, these guys are lame. Make my job harder, you fucking putts. Look at this, a $200,000 check. From March 1st, 2018 for a loan repayment. Written by Joe's brother? Gee, uh, if, but that's got Chinese official written all over it. To Joseph R. Biden. Yes, when he was, for all practical purposes, a retired government official with no plans to run again. Here, on March 1st of 2018. 28, ah, fuck me. Who was president in 2018? You know what was, you know what's funny, Greg? Is that, uh. Trump got $17 million from the Chinese government in one payment in 2017 when he was actually president, months after he killed TPP. Uh, meanwhile, fuck you. Ah, uh, uh, wait, who was president in 2018? Ah. Uh, the money? Look. <laughs> Wait a minute. That means it, even if he waited until after he was out of office to pay the loan back, the money that he got from his brother was to pay him back money that went the wrong fucking direction, dummy. My brother gave me $50. I still haven't paid him back. And he <laughs> yeah, but that's, Greg, A, that's because your family sucks and you're a piece of shit. <laughs> I mean, I don't see the comparison. Still remembers it. $200,000? What's going on here? Uh, I think uh, I think he loaned his brother money and his brother paid him back. At least that's what the check says. That's what the, but that you know what the most interesting thing is the date because the date is what tells us to not give a fuck. I don't care. Joe Biden and James Biden are brothers. Yes, James Biden. Last time I checked. Doesn't work for uh, Ukraine or Romania or the Chinese government. Oh, James is Joe's little brother. Uh-huh. I'm going to enjoy the math on this. I'm just, I'm already. <laughs> Shit. And investigators and basically anybody in Delaware has known for a long, long time that Hunter and Jim work together. The family business, you know, the Biden family name. These guys are out there selling it, selling access to Joe Biden. Mm, no. No, they aren't. Getting things done because... Like what? Dude, this is it. Drop it right now. So James Biden got money from this company for access. What did they get in exchange from someone who was no longer in office. They are Biden's 
and 10%. Jesus Christ. The big guy. 10% went to the big guy. Well, uh, James got $600,000. He gave two hundred dollars to Joe as a pe repayment for the loan that Joe had given him. It's more than 10%, I'm just saying. I, if I, I would jump on that if I were you. If, but if I were you, I would, of course, <clears throat> have the thought process of someone who was denied oxygen. Look at that check. House Oversight Committee actually released this publicly today. <laughs> yeah. And the date tells us that it's hilarious. Is, well, let's go through it. Number one. Number one. Who was president March 1st, 2018? Number two. They're brothers. Number three. It says loan repayment in the fucking memo field. It is from Sarah and James Biden. Yeah, they have joint accounts because they're a married couple. Fuck, this is dumb. James Biden is the brother of Joe, all right? And Sarah is Joe's sister-in-law. Next. Great. Wow. That's why, that's why, you know, Greg Kelly, uh, you know, people will say you're not an investigative reporter. And I'm one of those people. And people will say you're, uh, <laughs> you're an asshat. But, uh, um, and I, I would sometimes correct them and say asset, but I won't in this case. I, um, this check is just so we all understand written to, yes, pay to the order of Joseph R. Do you, you do realize we can read the whole fucking thing on screen without having to single in on any of these things, right? What the living shit is this? Junior R stands for Robinette, by the way, how much? <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. What, why didn't they write that out? That's suspect. Maybe there's a different Joseph R. Biden Sr. How much? $200,000. Right. Yeah, it's it's not only written there, it's 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 written out longhand in the next line. No sense. Just so there's no ambiguity here, let's take a look at when you have to write out, write out that number. $200,000 and zero cents. Jesus Christ. Do you notice he, he's going down the lines and skipping the date? The little brother to the big brother. Um, and the date, oh, March 1st, 2018. Hmm. Who was president March 1st, 2018? We'll come back to that in a bit. Yeah, please do. He's an ex-vice president. Right. At this point, and he's not yet running for president. <laughs> uh-huh. Which, by the way... Uh, even if he ran, was it guaranteed that he would win? Uh, why was this check written officially? You know that little memo thing you can write something on? God damn, this is dumb. Loan repayment. Loan repayment. Uh, Joe was loaning money to his brother? Apparently. I'm oh, by the way, no. A according to this check, you fucking dunce. He was loaning it to both of them because this money came out of their joint account. A million times how Joe was the poorest man in the Senate, right? Yeah, he wasn't in the Senate anymore, asshat. He'd been president for two fucking terms. And he was making lots of money on it. He'd made money on his book. They'd been able to buy a house. Like, Jesus Christ. You get this kind of money. Why, why would his brother need 200? Why did he go to a brother and not a bank? Yeah. What, what are these people, close or something? Uh, Greg, look, just because the your family fucking hates you <laughs> does not mean the rest of us have to live in your hell. James Comer, House Oversight Committee Chair, put this out along with a special video raising very special key points and asking some very important questions. Mm, yeah, let's see it. In 2018, when... Joe Biden was no longer vice president, wasn't running for president, and Donald Trump was president, and Ivanka and Jared Kushner were in the process of making $640 plus million dollars and getting a $2 billion deal afterwards, and his own sons uh, were running the company with his help because he'd refused to recuse himself and, and put his company in a trust or any of that shit. Please continue. James Biden received $600,000 Six hundred thousand dollars loans 
from AmeriCorps, a financially distressed and failing rural hospital operator. He got a loan of $600,000 from AmeriCorps, okay? The bankruptcy. Wait, why the fuck did he edit? Is this Comer's edit? Hold, please. Give me a second. Let's try this. Because this is... Let's see if we can go straight to here. Uh... There you go. This is from the House Oversight Committee. This is their own... Uh, like, this is basically his release on this. This is... Uh, yeah. So, there's the check. And then, here's the video, I guess. Is this the same video? Oh, it goes to... It goes to X? The shit? Oh, yeah, okay, so... it. it oh, Jesus Christ, they don't even... It's the House Oversight Committee and they can't even post it on their own fucking website? Jesus Christ. Okay, let's, let's see what it says. This summer, Joe Biden said, where's the money? Well, we found some. <laughs> uh, no, you didn't. We're still digging into evidence subpoenaed from bank accounts belonging to Hunter Biden, the son... <laughs> yeah, still doesn't matter. If it came... If you find any that happened in 2018, no one gives a fuck. President Joe Biden and James and Sarah Biden, the brother and sister-in-law of the president. A document that we're releasing today raises new questions about how President Biden personally benefited from his family's shady influence peddling. No, because he had no influence to peddle. He had no influence to pedal. Oh, there's a video echo? Why would that be? Hold on one second. Oh, I know why. Let me give him one second. Let's see if I can kill this guy. Of his last name and their access to him. Bank records obtained by the House Committee on Oversight have revealed a $200,000 direct payment from James and Sarah Biden to Joe Biden. Oh my God. From f inside family to family. I And by the way, first of all, uh... We've dealt with this with Hunter. But what kind of bagman situation happens where the bagman's take is bigger than the boss? God damn, this is dumb. In the form of a personal check. <laughs> Not a personal check. They never believed there'd be record of a personal check. This must surely have bounced through one of the myriad of LLCs that... Oh, God, this is so stupid. Here's some important context about this check we've obtained in our investigation. Very exciting. Okay, here's the important context, which apparently Greg Kelly cut out. In 2018, when Donald Trump was president of the United States, James Biden received $600,000 in loans from AmeriCorps, a financially distressed and failing rural hospital operator. One moment. Um, Maricor with the, without a P? Hold on one second. Maricor funding is a company you can trust. Maricor official site. National planning insurance. I guess, I guess he's talking about this. Hold on. Does he mean this fucking AmeriCorps that does, like, f debt consolidation? So they give you a loan so you can pay off your other debts and you can put it all under one payment? Is this... It, it's This is the same one they're talking about, right? They, so the... So Sarah and James Biden consolidated their debts under one roof. They got a $600,000 loan from that to pay off their other debts. And they did. God damn. This is, so I, I'm, uh, this is who they're talking about. And also, I don't know what the fuck he's talking about with like this financially distressed horse shit. That's what they do. They, they back 
financially distressed everybody. The AmeriCorps, that's the kind of loans they do. They do debt consolidation on on large scale. Uh, this is, oh shit. It's giving me a headache. According to bankruptcy court documents, Jim Oh, no, he didn't. James Biden received these loans, quote, based upon representations that his last name, Biden, could open doors. And what? <laughs> that he could obtain a large investment from the Middle East based on his political connections, end quote. In, in bankruptcy documents? Who the fuck wrote that? What are you talking about? On March 1st, 2018, AmeriCorps wired a $200,000 loan into James and Sarah Biden's personal bank account, not their business bank account. And then on the very same day, James Biden wrote a $200,000 check from this same personal bank account to Joe Biden. Wait a minute. So how, how the fuck do you have influence peddling that requires you to declare bankruptcy? <laughs> it's all part of the plan. Some men just want to watch the world burn. <laughs> First of all, they they wired 600K to him. They gave him 600K. It's not 200K to 200K. It was 600K and then 200K. But this, make, this is a bullshit graphic that makes it look worse than it is, even though, again, it's 2018. We give a fuck. James Biden wrote this check to Joe Biden. A check. And, and it's in, with an ink pen. Clearly part of... A master plan to hide the money from the world knowing in 2018. As a, quote, loan repayment. None of us are confused, asshat. You are. AmeriCorps, a distressed company. A distressed company that still exists and still makes loans to people who are financially distressed. Loaned money to James Biden, who then sent it to Joe Biden. <laughs> Okay, because he owed his brother money and he owed other people money and because apparently this influence peddling thing wasn't working out because no matter how much money they could talk people out of, Joe just did what Joe was going to do. What the shit? Even if this was a personal loan. Re it is. Show me it isn't, fuckhead. Payment. It's still troubling that Joe Biden's ability to be paid back by his brother depended on the success of his family's shady financial dealings. It didn't. It didn't. It, it wasn't successful. The shady dealing didn't pay for this. He did declared bankruptcy. He was allowed to consolidate some of his debt as part of bankruptcy proceedings. It didn't work, dumb fuck. At all. <laughs> if it was successful, I don't know. What the hell? This is nuts. This is so bad. This is such a... I thought, Jesus Christ, this just gets worse. Comer, you suck at this. Some immediate questions President Biden must answer for the American people. Does he have documents proving he lent such a large sum of money to his brother? Or he lent him a bunch of smaller amounts over time and his brother paid him back at once. And what were the terms of such financial agreement? That it was his brother and you pay me back when you can. That they didn't have anything written on paper because it's his fucking brother. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Did he have similar financial agreements with other family members? <laughs> uh, did they all involve love and support? It's gross. I don't know how to deal with it. Nobody in my family loves me. That led them to make similar large payments to him. And did he know repayments, fuckwad, that the same day James Biden wrote him a check for $200,000, James Biden had just received a loan for the exact same amount from business dealings with a company that was in financial distress and failing. First of all, no, they weren't. Citation fucking needed. I don't see anywhere where AmeriCorps is in deep shit. I like that. Prove that part of it. Maybe there's more in the in the in the paperwork for this. We'll see. He just keeps saying that. But a, why would he give a fuck? 
did AmeriCorps wasn't going to get anything from fucking Joe Biden in 2018. What were they going to get out of their fucking financial distress? And and again, what was he going to do? Make a fucking phone call and say lay off these guys? Why? Uh cuz they loaned my brother money. No. The House Oversight Committee will soon announce our next investigative actions and continue to follow the money. The bank records don't end here. There's well, they, dude, they don't even fucking start here. More to come. No, okay. First of all, this is moronic. Uh, let's go back to here. Um, this is the whole thing. Um, uh, da, 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 James, bank records, committee oversight. Uh, this important context received loans from AmeriCorps with an E on here. A financially distressed. Uh, thing. Okay, so hold on. Let's go. AmeriCorps. Whoops. Um. I don't even see a fucking website for AmeriCorps spelled core like that. AmeriCorps with no E. Um, that's the one that funds people debt consolidation and debt settlement which sounds like it was part of a bankruptcy thing okay americorps health that's what we're talking about compliant here's let me see if i can find this i'll bring this up for you guys one second uh this is the um bankruptcy court eastern district of kentucky london division americorps holdings debtors uh and the plaintiff carol fox chapter 11 trustee americorps health versus james biden defendant and this is in uh entered 7722 so they're they're basically suing him because they loaned him this money and they didn't think they could be paid back or whatever. Okay, Carol Fox, Chapter 11 trustee, Miss Fox, a trustee. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, this is uh, joint administered under the lead in e RE AmeriCorps Holdings LLC. Individual, the debtor, collectively with joint administered cases, debtors, files a complaint against James Biden stating the following. This court has jurisdiction over the adversary proceedings, blah, 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 parties, procedural background. Uh, it's the venue transfers. AmeriCorps wired transferred sum of four hundred thousand dollars to defendant bank account, PNC Bank, loaded, located in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. That's January twelfth, twenty eighteen, under a loan. On March first, twenty eighteen, they transferred the sum of two hundred thousand dollars to his bank account, located in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Documentation and evidence foregoing wire transfer under loan. Okay, both of them went to his regular bank account. Third one on June fourth, twenty eighteen, they transferred ten thousand dollars to him. And in a consulting way, after they sent him 400 grand and 200 grand, AmeriCorps uh, wired him $10,000 for consulting and marketing. Uh, defendant's relationship. By information and belief, defendant procured $600,000 loan from AmeriCorps based on represented that his last name Biden could open doors and that he could obtain a large investment from the Middle East based on his political connections. That wouldn't be his brother. That would just be from the Middle East and maybe his work in Iraq. Is that the idea? Debtors even provided defendant with business cards reflecting his position as, as a principal with AmeriCorps Health to assist in his financing efforts. A redacted copy of the defendant's business card is attached. As a result, the defendant became a fiduciary to AmeriCorps Health. So he got it. He, he became, he was working with them. The fuck? So they're loaning him money instead of putting him on salary? Instead of complying with his fiduciary responsibilities, defendant helped debtors procure, uh, hold on, which one's the defendant? The woman in this? Debtor, the debtors are in the, these are the debtors, against the, her plaintiff against him, the defendant. Okay. Uh, by information belief, he procured, uh, blah, 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 um, debtors even provided defendant with uh, business cards reflecting his position as a principal with America. So they gave him business cards saying he worked for AmeriCorps. Instead of complying with his fiduciary responsibilities, he helped debtors procure 
defendant helped debtors procure an ill-advised bridge loan from a hedge fund that had deleterious impact on the financial affairs of the debtor and ultimately forced debtors into bankruptcy as he never delivered the promised large investment from the Middle East. Okay, so he got them a bridge loan from a hedge fund in the interim. They took it. He got a portion of it. And then the deal they worked on or were going to work on never worked out. Whatever. And worse, the defendant never repaid the loans to AmeriCorps, including during the time the debtors were strapped for cash. Uh, despite trustee's demand, defendant has still failed and refused to return the transfers to the trustee. Trustee incorporates the ecology of blah, blah, blah. Within two years of the petition date, January 12, 2018, and the 20th year of AmeriCorps, uh, transfer constituted, da, 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 da. Uh, AmeriCorps received less than the reasonable equivalent value in exchange for each transfer, was insolvent on the days in which the transfers were made, became insolvent as a result of such transfers, was engaged in business transaction. Wherefore, plaintiff respectfully requests the court to enter a judgment. Declaration the transfers of fraudulent transfers pursuant. Okay, avoid the transfers, blah, blah, blah. Um, okay, they took they took a swing at free money, and he got a portion of the, of the bigger bridge loan that they got. They were unable to uh, pay that back because the deal that was supposed to be made in the Middle East never fucking happened. After Joe was president and, and fucking, all right. 600,000 property estimate of bankruptcy code. The debtor is entitled to the sum of $600,000 in loans. Uh, the defendant is required to turn over the loans to the trustee pursuant to this. Wherefore, the uh, trustee respectfully requests, okay, da, da, da. Uh, July 7th, 2022. Um, on behalf of this this company that went away. They had a deal with uh, him and then it went okay. Um, I gotta say, Jack Azary, I don't care. Yeah, I don't think I would vote for James Biden either. Documents, James Biden received these loans, quote, based upon representations that his last name, Biden, could open doors. Right, except uh, it, was his, the, it was the first name that turned out to be meaningful. <laughs> and that he could obtain a large investment from the Middle East. Oh my God, not the Middle East. Wait, where did Jared get his loans from? Is this support from? I can't even think. Somebody fucking, it's somewhere. It's not in the East and it's, it's in the middle of something. In Midwest, it's probably the Midwest. Based on his political connections, end quote. Wow. Wait, what do you mean, wow? None of that happened. Also, Joe wasn't even fucking pre again. His own James Biden has his own connections to the Middle East. He has his own connections that he made as a businessman. The only thing he was writing on the Biden name was that he'd be trustworthy in this process. The documents. That's exactly what the documents say. I'll go through that in a moment. Next come <laughs> from the people who are suing to get the money back from James Comer. On March 1st, 2018, Amer when Donald Trump was president, Core wired a $200,000 loan mm. to James and Sarah Biden's personal bank account, not their business bank account. Yeah, none of it went to their, insofar as we could see in that thing, it all went to the same bank account, all 610000 And then on the very same day, James Biden wrote a $200,000 check from this same personal bank account to Joe Biden. Uh huh. And so he kept four hundred and ten thousand dollars of these other payments. This is amazing stuff. No, no, it really isn't. This is huge. It's being no, no, it really isn't. Clips right now by events in the Middle East and the fight for a new speaker. This, though, this is history. This is domestic political history. No, it isn't. You know, it was history in 2018. Joe Biden's chances of becoming president. And could portend the end of Joe Biden. No. <laughs> this could portend the end of James Comer. This is a huge, huge problem. Oh, it's huge. Huge. A huge, huge. Huge. Story. Next, please. Some immediate questions President Biden must answer for the American people. Can you kick my ass? Does he have documents proving he lent such a large sum of money to his brother? And what were the terms of such financial agreement? No crack, no hookers. That's it. I got to I got to put my foot down at some point. Have similar financial agreements with other family members. And if he does, why should we give a fuck if he wasn't in office at the time? 
led them to make similar large payments to him. Yeah, the grandkids, definitely, definitely. He was pay- he was he was paying for their schooling, and uh, but in exchange for what? Them becoming educated or something? And did he know that the same day James Biden wrote him a check for two hundred thousand dollars? James Biden had just received a loan for the exact same amount from business dealings with a company that was in financial distress and failing. Well, I don't know. Did he know about the four hundred thousand dollars that that Comer uh, that uh, the James Biden had gotten in January from that same company, or the ten thousand dollars he got as a consultant after that, or the business card that this company had given him when he got them a bridge loan from a hedge fund that was enormous and that they were unable to pay back that they they burned through as well. And that company is or was AmeriCorps Holdings. Now we try to. So, so you're saying that they bought influence and it didn't help. Is that, is that, am I, so they bought influence that didn't happen. Is that the, hmm. For a comment, but you can't get them anymore because they're bankrupt. They went bankrupt. And as they were folding, they sued uh, James Biden for the money that they were owed that he took from the company. And this is not that long ago. This is right. It was uh, during a time uh, this all started when uh, Trump was president uh, last year, 2022, uh, United States bankruptcy court. It- You'd think he would have worked it out. You think you don't think Joe Biden just gave them a fucking he's president now. He could have gotten them out of it. James should have, why didn't James make a fucking phone call in 2021 and say, I'm in deep shit with this AmeriCorps company. Can you uh, throw them a bone and give them a no-bid contract in the Middle East to get them off my ass? This is proof there isn't any influence peddling. You stupid motherfucker. Eastern District of Kentucky, AmeriCorps versus James Biden. And inside, they established, uh, let's go through this, shall we? On January... They, d- they established nothing. They assert. Three twelfth 12th of 2018, AmeriCorps Health was transferred the sum of 400... Yes, at that point, uh, Donald Trump had been president for almost a year. Out- uh, just three days shy of it. ...dollars to defendant's bank account at PNC Bank, located in Philadelphia. Remember, the defendant here is, as we saw a moment ago, James Biden. Yeah, we don't care. ...of the president. Next. Yeah, we don't care. On March 1st of 2018, AmeriCorps Health Wire transferred, wire transferred the sum of $200,000 to defendant Biden's bank account at the same bank in Philadelphia. Mm. Uh, and based upon representations that his last name, Biden, could open doors and that he could obtain a large investment from the Middle East base from the Middle East based on his political his political connections his political connections connections yeah political connections because it's now been very well established by the Senate investigators by nope no it hasn't oversight committee the the Biden family, they have no real skill, no marketing whatsoever, other than, hey, we're Bidens. We can talk to people. We can talk to Joe. This is a lot of money. No, it isn't. We had the check in large. Oh, my fucking God. Hey, hey, I got a good, I got a, I got a good idea, Greg. Do me a favor. Hold up the check that Donald Trump had to write when he was sued for stealing from charities. It's, it's 10 times that amount. Yeah. 2 million bucks. That's right. He, Donald Trump was fined $2 million that he had to disperse to charities that he had stolen from. Hold up that fucking check. It's, uh, it's much bigger. It'll cover your face. It'll give us all a break. Ed McMahon style. I think this is a very serious and significant piece of history. Yeah, that's that's because you're stupid, Greg. That's what a dumb person would think. The rest of us look at the date of the check and go, what the fuck is wrong with you? $200,000 from James Biden to Joe Biden is not weird at all. Joe made his brother a $200,000 loan after a lifetime of service. 
and being president for eight er, vice president for eight years where he basically had no bills and then at that point he had sold his book during the second term and he'd made money on it and he had more money than he'd ever had in his entire fucking life and he bought another house remember that part when he actually he like had money so he started help paying forward helping his family out once said actually more than once he said all the time that he had no money and everybody was richer than joe that's true though they still are i was listed for all the years i was a senator as the poorest man in the united states congress mm -hmm. i had the dubious distinction of being listed as the poorest man in congress for 30 yeah that's true and then after he was vice president and he wrote a book and that book sold and then he did speeches that was no longer true he's still way down near the bottom though Jared? He's nowhere near Mitt Romney and fucking, uh, like, Rick Scott territory. The great pleasure of being listed as the poorest man in Congress for 36 years. So a year after you leave, barely a year after you're writing your brother checks for 200... A year after, no. Nine years, you dumb pe... Oh, God. ...thousand dollars. And your brother's been in the private sector for a long time. He's the one who has the money. What is happening here? No, he doesn't. That's why he had to get a bridge loan, dum-dum. His whole identity wrapped up in, in fooling us about what a middle-class guy he is, right? Even lower middle class, right, Joe? I view this campaign is between Scranton and Park Avenue. All Trump sees from Park Avenue is Wall Street. That's why the only metric of the American prosperity for him is the value of the Dow Jones. Like a lot of you, I spent a lot of my life with guys like Donald Trump looking down on me. Mm -hmm. Looking down on the people who make a living with their hands. People who take care of our kids. Clean our streets. What is he talking about? Joe's never fixed anything. He's never done anything. Dude, he tricked out. He's still got... That Corvette's his. He's the original owner, you dumb son of a bitch. With his hands college to law school to the city council to the senate to the vice presidency guy doesn't know anything about manual labor and spare me the talk about the old man who was rich and a bit of a operator himself you know at one point he owned an airport the old man was fine uh, so james and his wife this is james biden and his wife sarah they're the ones who wrote the check they actually look like they're quite well to do here you gotta oh my god they're at a black tie event with their with his brother, who's the vice president. This James and Hunter. So shit, it looks like they're at a funeral. The brother of the president and the son of the president. You can see him here back in 2008 with Jill in the middle. They were traveling the world together, doing all kinds of work together. And this is all making sense. Now, I have to go to the date on that check one more time. When was it? Uh-huh. March 1st of 2018. Now... We actually, from the laptop, have some communication between Hunter and James Biden in March of 2018. And they seem to be talking maybe about this money. From Hunter to Jim, we can talk, but you've been drawn into something purely for the purpose of protecting dad. And I know any of the BS money is mine ultimately. Uh, okay, I mean, you know, it's... The BS money? for the big guy but there's also sometimes maybe you know he's got to get his 90 percent first i don't know i don't know <laughs> yeah you don't and second of all again what the fuck situation do you have it where the bag man gets 90 percent and the head of the the company the the the, the mafioso it gets 10 percent this is fucking gibberish this is bad don't you no yes your show is bad yes yes greg you're your tie is bad. The knot is too big. It makes your head look small. Your goofy fucking face. Your ridiculous, like, aha moments. It's all bad. Thank it, certainly. Next, please. Also, in the same month, uh, a few months later, nine months later, in the same year, from Jim to Hunter, I can work with your father alone. We, as usual, just need several months of his help for this to work. <laughs> in December of 2018. Nobody gives a shit. And and by the way, this just proves that he's not working with them. What if he's running the organization and they're just 
selling influence and it's work and that's part of the family fucking brand you would never see texts like this as usual they need the father hanging around for months to help but he's not all right this is um uh, highly highly incriminating no it is not at all <laughs> and so is this i did not know he was on the board of that company. I've never discussed my business or their business, my sons or daughters. I did my job. I never discussed a single thing with my son about anything having to do with Ukraine. No one has indicated I have. We've always kept everything separate. I have never discussed with my son or my brother or anyone else anything having to do with their businesses, period. It's just muscle memory. It has nothing to do with the truth. You see that last clip, the one before this one. The one, not the last clip, but the clip before the clip. Yeah. Always kept everything separate. Right. Yeah. His politics and their business. What, what is he talking? What's separate? His politics, their business. Here's a good idea, stupid. Watch the whole clip of the thing that you're putting on so that you know the context. What does he mean by this? I did my job. I never discussed a single thing with my son about anything having to do with Ukraine. No one has indicated I have. We've always kept everything separate. Everything separate. His initiatives, his outreach to these countries, they're doing it on their own. They come together in the form of private checks after the fact. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What's unnatural about God damn, that's gross. What do you think? I think Tony Bobble. Here's what I think. What the fuck are you looking at your desk for? We got to talk about him. He may. Yeah, talk about him. Have, have Tony Bobolinski explain to everybody how the bag man gets 90% and the mafioso boss gets 10%. Real hero and all this stuff. <laughs> you mean the guy who was mad because he was fired and wanted to get revenge and thought he could get a payday from the right wing for coming out and doing this circuit, and he has. You know, Tony Bobolinsky is a dick. I met the Bidens in early 20, May of 2017 when Joe Biden went to speak at the Milken Institute in Los Angeles. And the Wait, who was president in May of 2017? I swear to God. Night before, Tony meets with the Bidens and he's pretty shocked at the way they conduct themselves. When they're, they have no influence to battle. God damn, this is stupid. On May 2nd, 2017, the night before Joe Biden was to appear at the Milken conference, I was introduced to Joe Biden by Jim Biden and Hunter Biden. Wait, you didn't meet him till fucking Trump was president? At, and a, at my approximately hour-long meeting with Joe that night, we discussed the Biden's history, the Biden's family business plans with the Chinese, with which he was plainly familiar, at least at a high level, regarding the allocation of the equity ownership of Sinohawk. On May 13, 2017, mm. I received an email concerning allocation of equity which says 10% held by H for the big guy. Jesus Christ. Holy fuck. I don't know. I thought for a while that that whole, the 10% the for the big guy shit, I don't know why I thought that was related to the 2015 stuff. Who gives a fuck? Like that deal never happened anyways. And, and, and I would argue that the assertion of the 10% for the big guy having to do with Joe is nonsense anyways. I don't buy it coming from this fucker. But 2017, in May, May 13th of 2017, he's no longer in office. In that email, there's no question that H stands for Hunter, big guy for his father. And 2017 stands for the year that Donald Trump first took office and Joe Biden was no longer a federal official of any sort. Joe Biden. Hunter often referred to his father as the big guy or my chairman. 
On numerous occasions, it was made clear to me that Joe Biden's involvement was not to be mentioned in writing, but only face to face. Why? Because Joe didn't agree to it? Because it was part of James or Hunter's bullshit at that point? It wasn't in office. Who gives a shit? Wow. Wow. I had the years completely off. Jesus. What do you make of this, huh? I make of it that you don't give a shit that Jared Kushner walked out of the Trump White House with two fucking billion dollars. That Ivanka and Jared made 600 plus thousand uh, million dollars, 600 million, uh, million plus at, while they were in office. That Donald Trump never separated himself from his own businesses and that he bled the fucking taxpayers every time he went golfing. And the, the accumulative cost of his golfing trips, not just his vacations, but his fucking golfing trips was 400 years of presidential salary. And you don't give a duck fuck. Also, $17 million in one single payment into his secret Chinese bank account. And Donald Trump himself withdrew $15 million of that while he was president. Right around the same time this shit is supposedly going on, Donald Trump is president of the United States, has killed TPP, the Trans-Pacific Partnership, which was meant to be a bulwark against China's uh, hegemony in the South China Seas. And he takes $15 million in cash out of that fucking account. Because that's what a broke motherfucker he is. I think it's huge. That's because you're stupid. You probably also think Trump has a big dick. And you know it's huge. No, no, I, it's, I hear it's a, it's a little, it's one of those little, little mini mushrooms. This check, $200,000. Yeah, that's it. So at a time when, this is the other thing. So at a, we're supposed to buy, never mind the fact that Biden's out of office at this point. So we're supposed to believe <clears throat> that Joe Biden, who is making about $100,000 per speech right now during this period of time as a, as a former vice president, um, you know, talking to, you know, all kinds of groups that, that he's going to sell out the whole fucking country in a way that would ultimately endanger the lives of his grandkids for 200 fucking K, something he can make in two weekends. When he's made, he's now making more money than he ever has and has no plans to like build. He doesn't have fucking Mar-a-Lago with a mystery loan. He doesn't have a mystery loan on Bedminster. He doesn't have a mystery loan on Trump Tower. God knows who the fuck is backing it up. He's got two little houses in fucking Delaware. From the brother to the principal to the big guy himself. In 2018. March of 2018. You know what was happening in March of 2018? Yes, Donald Trump was president. Biden was not running for president. It right. He wasn't president. He wasn't vice president. He wasn't running for president. Done deal. That whole thing about Charlottesville, he made up his mind. That's another lie. He was not convinced that he could do it. A lot of other people weren't convinced. So <laughs> Right. So if a lot of other people were, con were convinced that he couldn't do it, where's the influence to sell? What the living shit? Maybe he thought, hey, no one's looking. We can just we can just do this a bit more openly than we than we normally did. I'm told that there are a lot more where this came from. But the invest Yeah, were you told by who? Because I, I look at your face right here and I don't necessarily believe that's the case. I don't think you've been told that, Greg. I mean, Comer will say that shit, but that's different from than somebody telling you there's more. Continues, and this is the tip of the iceberg. God damn, that's lame. Ugh, what a lazy bunch of shit. That's it. That's the whole... That's the check story, kids. That's... That's all of it. That's... Aren't you convinced? I... Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, uh, uh, we did... We did kind of clear up two particular things. One particular is that the 10% uh, for the big guy thing happened after he was out of office as well. Ugh. It's just so fucking lazy. Ugh. Yeah, the, the, the check number is 6160, uh, more than 6,000 checks. That is, KL Link, that is indeed if, um, 
the check itself, uh, you know, that he did that you start at that number. Cause I don't, I don't, I never, if I get new checks, you can ask for when you want them to start. And a lot of business people will ask that they start way later. So it looks like you've been in business longer. Not saying that's what happened here, but it's not that surprising. So, ugh, God damn, this is so stupid. 